Good morning, beautiful people. It is Tuesday, May 26th, 2 6. It is day 65 of thinking of thinking, understanding fear, finding joy out of suffering, and it's day two of control your environment. Today was the day five years ago that my third book, Standing on the Shoulders of Giants, was released. Now, here's the quick backstory of Standing on the Shoulders of Giants. In August of 2013, an article I wrote for my dad was picked up by Huffington and shared uh, 23 million times. And I never celebrated that because the day I found out about that was probably one of the most uh, dramatic days of my life. Uh, definitely a ton of suffering and a ton of trauma. Fast forward to early 2015 and I come back from Cuba and I get a note that says as one of our most featured well-read pieces, we'd like to re-feature you. And that moment brought up all of the negative feelings that was associated with my article being shared 23 million times. Obviously, I had done a lot of work and I dove into my mind and I dove in to understand why I was feeling all these negative emotions again. And I decided in that moment to make a goal bigger than the hurt. And I decided to bring a project from my someday shelf into the future. And I set out to interview people around the world about who inspires them to aim higher, dream larger, and think bigger as a tribute to my father because that is who inspired me. And right before it went to the editors, I reached out to a few people who knew my father. One of them actually just passed away last week. And I heard stories about my dad that I never knew. So although I set out to help people shine a light on their heroes, it actually ended up bridging a gap between father and son. And today the book was released. But leading up to the book, I had to deal with all of that emotional baggage that had occurred in the past. And that's where this course came from, is everything that I put myself through in order to be able to release that book became a 91 day course. And here we are on day 65, control your environment, day two. And I look back to the material that I wrote five years ago, five plus years ago now, and not to be arrogant or cocky or, or egotistical, but I truly am amazed when I go back and I go through that same journey again. Today's affirmation, is I will ask for detachment, but I will not confuse it with indifference. There's a big difference between being attached to something and being detached to the outcome. And I feel like the lesson of detachment, of, of conscious letting go, we're definitely all being called in this state. And when I talk about let, controlling your environment, we know that discipline is built like a muscle, but we also know that our willpower is a very fragile thing. And for me, in 2013, 2014, I spent so much time trying to focus on goals, but goals are harmful unless they guide you to make behavior easier. So let me rephrase that. Goals are harmful unless they guide you to make specific behaviors easier to do. And I encourage everyone I work with not to focus your motivation on doing behavior X, but instead focus on making behavior X easier to do. We humans are lazy. 
And habits are the brain's way of simplifying the movements required to achieve a greater result. So if you can adjust your environment to make the result easier, great things will happen. So think about it. If you think you need to floss every day, well, don't put the floss in a cupboard. Put it where you can see it. If you want to watch less TV, well, take the TV out of your bedroom. That would be a first start. But take the batteries out of the remote or put the remote somewhere where you can't see it. Because if you are less tempted to do something, it will be easier. The examples could go on forever, but the lesson here is instead of trying to force habits on yourself, spend effort on making good habits easier to engage in and bad habits difficult to engage in. I was thinking about this as I was out the other day driving. Those who have addiction challenges with alcohol a lineup of 50 people going into an LCBO would definitely deter me. I wouldn't want to stay, especially in the rain. And I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. But if you make it easier to do something or not do something, we will always pick the path of released resistance. So that's my thought today. Focus on detachment letting go, making habits easier, controlling your environment. What a beautiful thought. Until tomorrow, I love you all. I hope you stay safe and healthy and ensure to be kind to yourself and to others.